Welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I've got a really cool video for you. This is a product launch for the FMS 80mm Integral EDF Jet. Before I get started, I need to let you know this video is sponsored by FMS who sent me the Integral for review. I will have links in the description if you'd like to pick one up for yourself. As this is a new release, I can tell you right now, stock on these will probably go pretty quickly. So if you want to get one and not wait for the second round of inventory to hit, you better get after it. The plan for today is to do a maiden flight and we're going to also do some power testing. We will see what kind of wattage this thing creates, what kind of thrust it produces, and how much it weighs. And before we get into the flying, just a really quick look at the airplane. Up top, you can see the beautiful gray and red and silver scheme and uh, looks really sharp. I love the lines on this plane, very futuristic looking, low drag. It looks like it's gonna be very efficient in the air. We've got takeoff flaps at about 15 degrees and then landing flaps at about 40 degrees. And then of course, we've got landing gear on this one. The retracts are beautiful. And I do wanna point out, these are oleos. I'm gonna show you what they look like on the ground. They seem to be sprung correctly for this plane, but we'll go ahead and bring the gear up. There you go, you can see the gear tucks nice and neat into the underbelly of the airplane. And then we'll bring the gear back down. Just beautiful. And Dave, let's set it on the ground and we'll, we'll compress those springs a little bit, give people a look at how those oleos function. Okay, you know, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to go to modeling school to know how to stand with these things. <laughs> the Vanna White <laughs> School of Modeling. <laughs> so yeah, just compress that just a little bit, and there you oh, go. Oh, that's nice. Doesn't that feel nice? Oh Dude, yeah. yeah. So oh, that's feels... going to work really good. Yeah, yep. and yep, I, yep, I'll yep. tell you something. That's something that a lot of the manufacturers don't get quite right, is the tension is either a little too much or a little too little. So I think they've done a really nice job on this one. I think so. Check this out really quick. This is awesome. This canopy, look how nice the finish is, because they lined the foam with a vacuum form plastic or something on the top of it. That's really nice, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. That's new. Cool, all right. Very good. One last control systems check before we take off. I expect the elevator to come up and it does. And I'm gonna flip the high rates. High There's rate. high rates. I expect the right aileron to come up and it does. I expect the left aileron to come up and it does. I expect the rudder to go right and it does, the rudder should go left and it does, and we already know we've got power. I'm gonna go ahead and use no flaps for takeoff. We've got a long runway, so I'm just gonna try it without flaps first and see what happens. And here we go, lining up for the maiden flight of the Integral. One of the talking points FMS gave me on the Integral is that the low speed handling should be very good. It was designed with low speed handling in mind. So landings should be easier, light wing loading, etc. So here we go, taking off with the integral. One minute. Well, that was uneventful. A little bit of voltage sag right off the bat with the 6L4000. I have a conservative voltage setting though, so don't pay too much yeah. attention to that. I do that on these Jet Maidens just to make sure I get it on the ground with plenty of voltage to spare. All right. Looks like a little bit of a climb. And a couple clicks of right, and that's about it. So two clicks of down, one click of right, and that's it. All right, let's do some testing. We don't have a lot of time with these planes. Let's see what she's got. Nice little loop. Let's do a balance test and see what happens there. So Dave, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the upline test here. Okay. Yeah, look at that. That was nose heavy big time. Do you see that, Dave? Oh yeah. That dropped really hard. That's probably why the knife edge was so exactly. challenging. Exactly. That that isn't in line with the knife edge. Yep. Oh that really you. comes down. Yep. I'm gonna do a nice low flyby for Dave so he can get a nice look at it. Here we come, Dave. Okay. Nice. Low rate. I'm gonna bring my rates down just a little bit. 
22.4 volts. All right, there's 22.4 volts. So Dave, that's it. I'm going to bring it in. Okay. Gear down. Flaps down. Yeah, even with power off, I'm still getting that voltage hit, so it's time to get it on the ground for sure. All right. Four minutes. To give you a look under the canopy in the integral, that is a 6L4000, that's a Liperior 45C. I tried a 6L5000, both a 45C and a 75C. For me, the 6L4000 balances correctly. Anything bigger than that, and I was very nose heavy. So for me, 6L4000 is the right answer in this plane. And then in terms of the wiring, there's really very little to do. I'm running a Happy model EPW6, there's a little T antenna. This is Express LRS, and there is the receiver right there. So very simple wiring job on this plane. It actually came together quite quickly. This is the second flight of the FMS Integral, and I wound up moving the battery back as far as I could. This time I'm gonna do low rates, and I'm gonna go ahead and try the takeoff laps, although I really don't need them on this runway. We've got a breeze coming right down the center line of the runway, which is perfect and we got a long runway so i really don't need it but i'm going to do it anyway so here we go taking off nice well it really pitched up with the flaps which is yeah i kind of expect that also made a slight adjustment to my battery voltage so i don't go right into voltage sag as soon as i take off all right, let's try a couple of other things. We'll do a uh, little bit of a cubinate here. That's all, that's fine. Inverted definitely takes some up stick, that's for sure. You gotta push forward to do that inverted. I'll do it again, Dave. I'm gonna go fly by inverted this time. And that's a pretty good amount of up elevator. I mean, it does it, but you're holding that elevator, that's for sure. 22.1 volts. Give those batteries a little bit of a break. Let's do a, a nice little fly by, Dave. I'm gonna come from the left. Go. Minutes. 22.1 All right, that's three minutes. I'm at 22.1. That's it. Gear Gear's coming down. Flaps. flaps down. Flaps I'm going to land it. Flaps down.
Here are the stats of the second flight of the Integral. I got three minutes and 58 seconds of flight time. Express LRS hit 250 milliwatts, and the low voltage on the battery was 20.6. And after rest, being on the ground for a few minutes, I'm at 22.8. All right, we've got the Integral on the scale, and it's looking like 5.6 pounds, and we have it hanging all by itself. That's a 6L4000. Dave's just gonna keep it from spinning. But there we go. That is a 5.6 pound plane all up weight and again 6L4000 and the receiver is a Happy Model EPW6. We're going to run the watt meter test on the 80 millimeter integral. Dave's going to power it up whenever you're ready Dave. Okay here it goes. All right I saw 104 and 2100 watts so 104 amps 2100 watts so that seems about right. I will check that in post to make sure I have the peak values correct, but we're in that neighborhood. Next up is a thrust test. We're teared at zero, Dave, whenever you're ready. All right, here goes. All right, I saw it actually hit 3.7, but it locked at 3.6, so about 3.6, 3.7. We'll on thrust. No, that's okay. good. That's good. Yeah. We don't have a lot of energy on these. I know. I you know. do even you do those bursts, even on a short burst like that, you're cutting into the flight time for sure. I just wrapped up the second flight of the integral. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of how I feel about this plane. What works for me, I like the design. I like how it's swoopy and it's got nice clean edges. It looks very aerodynamically efficient. The power level is sufficient, controls are sufficient. I like the oleo. They seem set up right for the plane. And the colors are fine. I don't have any problems keeping an eye on this plane in the sky. No problems there. What doesn't work for me is the fact that even though I've got a 6L4000 pulled back as far as I can on that tray, it is still quite nose heavy. And because it's nose heavy, you're going to see that in its flight performance. What I would say about testing flaps is make sure you're in an environment where you're up high and you give yourself time to make corrections or recover if you see something you don't like. One option you might consider get some altitude, pitch the nose down, give yourself full flaps, and observe the behavior. So the idea there is before you start using flaps to land, make sure you do some testing with some altitude. So if anything happens that you need to recover from, you've got space to do it. Yep, three mistakes too high. <laughs> That's right. Dave, do you have any observations? For me, it looks cool. It's just different than anything else. The lines, the curves, I think it looks very nice. Yeah. And it flew beautiful. I mean, I'm looking at it. It flew fine, you know. Yeah, it needs to be uh, refined a little bit, you know, just tweaked. You know, you got to learn it a little bit. Yeah, you got to spend the time dialing Absolutely. these in just a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, no doubt. I like if, it. Thanks to FMS for sending the 80 millimeter integral out for review. Remember, if you'd like to pick one up for yourself, there are affiliate links in the description. If you use my links, the channel gets a little bit of a kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. YouTube should recommend another video for you right now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hasta la vista. And go fly something. <laughs>